Thai-born, Melbourne-based ceramic artist Vipu Srivalasa continues to make a name for himself. Vipu charts his own path between East and West, fusing both the time-honoured and the contemporary. I think it's in my blood. I have to make something. If I don't make it, I feel sick. I don't know, I think this is probably normal. Like, people got to do something, and my thing is got to make some work from clay. Something that, once you hook on it, it's sort of like growing on you, and you couldn't leave. I think ceramic or clay, it is part of my life now. I just have to do something every day. I was born in Bangkok. I discovered ceramics since I studied high school, College of Art in Thailand. I didn't fall in love with ceramics since then, but it slowly it grew on me. And I really serious about it when I studied my degrees in uh, Bangkok. And since then, I never looked back. This has happened spontaneously, it's no plan. I work in series, and each series have different theme. And most of the theme, influenced by the two cultures which is I am in, from Thailand and Australia. So, for example, at the moment I make corals because I'm interested in environmentals. And I use coral reef as a bridge between Thailand and Australia because both of them are facing the same problems, the bleaching problems. Underwater is the habitat of the mermaid. And I use mermaid as my alter ego. I like mermaid because of my grandmother told me about this story. It's an epic battle between good and bad. And the mermaid is sort of like stuck between the two worlds. And somehow I feel the same. I'm sort of like in between the two worlds, like East and West, Australia and Thailand. So I, I, I like to see myself as the mermaid who produce a unique products or unique artwork. The S&M Mermaid, would you believe it? It's inspired by the 19th century figurative from England. I happened to see this piece in the gallery and sort of like moved me. And I want to make work that relate to that pieces. Probably S&M is the first time I incorporate figures, male figures particularly, into the series. I have so much fun doing this series. I got models, live models come and post for me and then I take photo and then I sculpture it from the real models. I think when I make S&M Mermaid, it was like peak of my life and I, I think I was still drinking and dancing a little bit then, not like now. So the work is sort of like very um, out there. But now I sort of like grow a bit wiser and calmer. In the um, ceramic world, they have very strong tradition in blue and white. I like the blue and white because it's sort of like international language, like everyone understands it. It doesn't have to be, you know, art critic or art professor to understand what's it like. You can just appreciate the beauty of it. And I thought it's very important to try to differentiate from the, the old traditions. However, I like to learn traditional way of how to make the blue and white, like painting skill or how to control the toning of the colors. And maybe once I learn all this tradition technique, I can reinterpret it again into my own style. This series is called Fortune Teller. It's based on palm readings, um, just like Thai traditional palm readings. It's uh, a response for environmental issue. That uh, the coral reef will be gone in about 40 years if we haven't done anything to save them. 
So like this piece, I got the cold powder washing um, at the front. So it's sort of like the one I use at home, so um, it's very in environmental friendly. So if you choose the right one, then uh, you're sort of like helping the corals with the gardening tools. So if you um, plant native plants at your gardens, then you've got like a native bird like kokabaru come and visit your garden. When I, when I present the whole series, it's about like 20 hands. So it come in different size and shape, like men, women, kids, adults, teenagers. So because of the environmental issue, it cannot be solved by just one person. So all these hands like a community, so everyone has to help. And it's just like hands making things happen. One thing that I try to put in my work is beauty. Whatever I make, it has to have beauty in it. It's very easy to link to people, to audience. And I found I like to make something that people feel happy when they see it. Even though some of my words sort of like talk about like, you know, coral reef dying and things, but it's still got some beauty and some humours in it. I like to think that my work have different levels of messages, but it depends on the viewer who could connect to the pieces. Some of them might just like my work because it's quite beautiful or quite humorous, and I don't mind that at all. And some of them might see beyond that, and I'm happy with it too. I like to make things, and I want to make things, and I'm very happy to make things. So my happiness is not rely on others. My happiness is when I'm making work, when I open the kiln, or when I got some nice idea that I want to make. And once I finish that, it's just like, it's not mine anymore. My work is about telling story, telling what I see, telling what I like. I think that's what it is, yes, telling story. Oh, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? Watch out for Vipu's works in Melbourne's Federation Square in November. Our website will have all the details.